Here are the top 10 best countries to live under $1,300 per month. Number 10, Philippines, clear blue water, golden sandy beaches, tropical forests. With over 7,000 islands, you find volcanoes, mountains, exotic birds, stunning islands, and the Philippines is one of the best countries to live in Asia. It is cheap life on these islands. You'll have the ocean right outside your window. You'll spend about $800 and live comfortably. Shop at the local markets where you find fruits, vegetables, fresh fish, shrimp, all the local delicacies that you can't get enough of. Supermarkets tend to be more expensive. Covering housing utilities, food, and healthcare should not cost more than $1,300 a month to live very comfortably. Do not forget to bargain for a lower price while you're shopping at the local market. You will spend around $250 a month on groceries. Number nine, Vietnam. Vietnam is an inexpensive country to live in. Most items cost less than half of what you would pay in the Western world, and about one third less than what they would cost in many other Southeast Asian countries. Vietnam's most expensive city is Ho Chi Minh City, formerly called Saigon, followed by Hanoi, the capital of Vietnam. Even in these two places, a couple can enjoy a comfortable, middle-class lifestyle for less than $1,300 per month. Of course, your choice of lifestyle will determine how much you need to spend. If you are living in Vietnam, you'll need to factor in the cost of border runs legal requirement that occurs every three to 12 months, depending on the type of visa you have. To go to Thailand from Ho Chi Minh City to Bangkok costs around $120. Vietnam is a modern country with safe and convenient unspoiled tropical beaches, warm water, and excellent services. Don't like cooking? Then head for a local restaurant in Vietnam. Vietnam cuisine is very cheap. A full meal and a simple Vietnamese eatery will cost you around three to four dollars each day. If your budget is around three to 4,000, you can live in total luxury here in Vietnam, eating at five-star restaurants many times a week, taking trips to explore this amazing country. Medications that would require a doctor's visit and a prescription in the West can be purchased over the counter here at a small fraction of the price. Number eight, Colombia. Around 30 years ago, Colombia was well known mostly for cartels, conflicts, and coffee. Many people have still an outdated perception of this amazing country. A lot of changes have occurred in Colombia over the decades. Colombia is also one of the most beautiful places on earth. They have the perfect climate all year round. Besides, they're close to the equator. Each day is split into 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of darkness. The cost of living varies depending on your lifestyle choice and which city you choose to live in or in the rural Colombia area where life is a lot cheaper than in the mega cities like Bogota and Medellin. We're in the high-end neighborhood of El Poblado pays about 1000 a month for a three-bedroom high-rise apartment. However, there is a wide range of prices available throughout the city. Starting at $400, most expats or fixed-income retirees seem to get by fine in Colombia under a budget of $1,300 monthly. Number seven, Montenegro. This European scenic country has fantastic weather and is cheap to live in. The average cost of living there is about $1,000, which is a lot less than any other European country with an exception of Greece. Its mountain resorts, diving and paragliding opportunities and trekking this country offers leisure opportunities in abundance. It has its very nice beaches on the Adriatic Sea. Also, foreign individuals and legal companies can purchase property in Montenegro houses and apartments are easy to acquire by expats in any part of the country. The average rent for a two-bedroom apartment is around $250 to $650, depending on the lifestyle you choose. The king and queen lifestyle will set you back around $2,500 to $3,000 here, which is very cheap for what you get. In any metropolitan area of the country, with such a low cost of living and a fast-growing economy and tourism industry, Montenegro is becoming a very popular European destination to live abroad. Number six, Mauritius. On the exotic island of Mauritius, you'll find tropical paradise beaches, jungles, and lush mountains and waterfalls. The pure and exotic nature of this island is just incredible. Legendary American storyteller Mark Twain claims that when God created heaven, he took Mauritius as a model. I think he is right.
Mauritius is a slice of paradise, and it is quite cheap to live here. Most fruits like coconuts, bananas, mango trees, and so much more grow here along the streets. You can just reach for a banana or mango and pick one to go on your way to the stunning beaches. Rent is about $600 for a two-bedroom condo close to the beach, which will cost you around $800 a month. $300 for food a month and flash money to spend on entertainment, another $200. So for around $1,300, you live a quality lifestyle in this tropical African country. Cost of living in Mauritius is cheaper than in 60% of countries in the world. Number five. Georgia. No, not the one in the southeast of the United States. We are talking about Georgia in the country located on the Black Sea coast, and it stands out for its warm summers and the snowy winters in the Caucasus Mountain villages. Ancient churches, healing springs, all is present in Georgia where you can live very comfortably for less than $1,300 a month. An apartment in Georgia can be rented for around $250 a month. You can eat out in restaurants. It will run around six to $10, but watch out. The meals are served big here, so do not order multiple dishes. You won't be able to finish them all. We recommend you go out and explore the local eateries. Georgian cuisine is considered to be one of the best in the former Soviet Union. If you shop at the supermarket and cook yourself, it will be very affordable since the prices are very low here. You can get an excellent bottle of local wine for less than $10. That's a good deal, right? Number four, Malaysia. Malaysia is a country that has a lot to offer to make someone locate there. Besides the lush rainforests, the tropical islands and beaches, Malaysia is known for being a modern, robust and ever evolving country to live in. The cost of living in Malaysia is considerably lower than other neighboring countries in Asia. Average rent here is around $350 to $600 for a two-bedroom apartment. You can also get a luxury house for less than $1,000 a month. Cost of living is around $450 per person without rent, including groceries and entertainment per week. The healthcare index of 69.64 is considered good and high in Malaysia, and the cost of living index tops at 38.73, which is very low compared to other countries in the region. It is fairly easy to get a legal residency here as long as you've got a solid income from overseas or savings, either as a retiree or as a business owner. The Malaysians are very friendly people and welcome foreigners who want to live here and try to learn the language and make local friends. Number three, Thailand. Thailand has gotten a lot of attention the past 10 years as a retirement destination where expats kick back on the beach in Fatek living the beach life, which is about 20% more expensive than if you would live in Bangkok, where it is about $600 per person to live comfortably without rent. That will set you back another $600 to $700 per month. This country has a rich culture with delicious cuisine and the friendliest people in the world. The weather is sunny and hot, and there are plenty of beaches and islands to go to. Island hopping on a day tour or for an extended tour, exploring Thailand makes it a perfect country. You can also choose a smaller town to live on the beach in, some of the 1,430 islands that Thailand has to offer, and some of the most beautiful beaches in the world. $1,300 is more than enough to live here comfortably. Number two, Peru. Peru, a South American country that's home to a large section of the Amazon rainforest and the ancient Incan city high in the Andes Mountains of Machu Picchu. The region around Machu Picchu, including the Sacred Valley, Inca Trail, and colonial city of Cusco, is rich in archaeological sites. Peru has many plants and wildlife species found nowhere else on Earth. Like the Peruvian sundew, you also find hummingbirds, penguins, and condors. Very rich wildlife here as well. Here you can lower your cost of living and improving your quality of life in Lima, the capital of Peru. You can rent a two-bedroom apartment for around $400. Cost of living is around $300 a month, including dining out, entertainment, and surfing on the beach in Lima with your cocktail in hand or the famous ceviche, whatever you like best. The local cuisine is incredibly delicious and cheap. 
You can eat for $2 a day at local eateries. I would suggest you get international health insurance for $350 to be covered for any case. The health system in Peru is not the best, so keep that in mind. Number one, Indonesia. Indonesia is one of the cheapest and friendliest destinations for expats worldwide. Indonesia has one of the lowest costs of living in all of Southeast Asia. For $500 per person, you live comfortably in Indonesia, either in the city of Jakarta or in a rural beach town, or on one of its 17,508 islands, of which about 6,000 are inhabited. <laughs> Indonesia is the largest archipelago in the world. The average salary in Indonesia is around $300. If you're planning on living comfortably, you will need somewhere around $1,000 per month in Jakarta. It is the city with the most expensive cost of living in Indonesia, which happens to be the capital of Indonesia. Other locations would be a lot cheaper. Bali and other tourist destinations are more pricey. Like anywhere in the world, tourists pay more than locals. If you want to get the same price as a local to learn the local language. We hope you enjoyed this video. Which place would you like to visit from the list? Let us know in the comment section below the video. And if you like the video, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications. So you'll be the first to know when we publish a new video. Thanks for watching.